Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Francesca Schaefer. And I'm Anastasia Feline. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Would you like to have a snack in between finals? On Thursday and Friday, the cafeteria will be open during the nutrition break, selling cheeseburgers, chicken sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, pizza, burritos, salads, and juice. The cafeteria will not be open after school, so please stop by during the break. The end of the term is almost here, and after all the hard work you all put into studying, you deserve some fun out with your friends. There will be a Stockton Heat game for a CO night at the arena, so come and support Hype Dance Company as they perform on the ice. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day with us and the Stockton Heat on Saturday, March 16th. Get your tickets today at groupmatics.events. Coding and robotics students, a third paid summer internship is available with Northrop Grumman. Please see Mrs. Hale for more details. Form C's for Unity Day are due Monday, March 18th. Have your fourth term teacher sign them and you can turn them in to the office. Do you love to sing? Do people say you have a great voice? Teen Idol 2019 is a vocal competition with prizes for the top three finalists. Auditions are at 7 p.m. this Friday, March 15th. For more information, go to teencenterusa.org. There's an FCA meeting next Tuesday, the 19th. Monica Sandoval will be speaking. Rooms are HM2 for early lunch and L3 for late. Come by and get some free pizza. You don't have to be a Christian or an athlete to attend. Now let's pass it on over to Paris and Cash for your In the News update. Thanks, Anastasia. How's it going, Wolfpack? I'm Cash Bullock. And I'm Paris James, and we're back from our hiatus from our last in the news report of this term. We begin with quite a bewildering story having to do with college admissions. Seniors, get ready for this. At least 50 people were arrested and charged in a scheme where wealthy parents allegedly bribed college coaches and other insiders to get their children into selective schools across the states. Among the people involved were actresses Felicity Huffman from Desperate Housewives and Lori Laughlin from Full House. Many of the parents were very prominent in law, fashion, finance, and the food and beverage industry. The scandal, which, went by, which even went by a code name, Operation Varsity Blues, also involved coaches from Yale, Stanford, and Georgetown universities. Moving on, yesterday the World Wide Web celebrated its 30th birthday. Feeling old yet? What's next for the World Wide Web, you may be asking? Well, its creator, English software engineer, Tim Berners-Lee hopes that technology today can be vehicleized for public good and less literate for, with not just hacking, but also harassment and hate speech. We must clarify, Wolfpack, that World Wide Web is not the same as internet, created years earlier. In other news, a 116-year-old Japanese woman has been crowned by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's oldest person alive. Kane Tanaka was recognized at her nursing home where she was given a framed certificate and a box of chocolates. You may have been noticing that some cars of the campus have pink tickets on them. If you are a student or a facility or faculty that does not have the proper permit, you will be ticketed and you will be towed or, and or lose parking privileges. Students must park in student parking, the orange and blue spots. Oh, well, yeah, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. See you next term with more news national and abroad. Thanks guys. Our Poly Club's sixth annual luau is Saturday, March 23rd from 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be going out soon, so keep an eye out. There will be $8 pre-sale and $10 at the door. Feel free to ask any of the Poly dancers if you have any more questions. In case you missed the chamber concerts last week, let's see how they went. <laughs>
If you are placed on the no activities list and have purchased your senior ball ticket, your ticket will be placed on hold until your detention is served or your library fine is cleared. If you fail to serve your detention or clear your library fine before the week of March 25th through March 29th, you forfeit your ticket and will be unable to attend senior ball. After school detentions will be held today and March 22nd. Lunch detentions are every Tuesday and Thursday. Please check the bulletin board outside of the VP office for detention locations. Speaking of senior ball, seniors, remember this Friday, March 15th, is the last day to buy your ticket for ball. They're $85 in the student store or the controller's window after school. We have one last shout out to the women's basketball team. This is the most successful season in SIA women's basketball history when they won the Delta League Championship with a 12-0 record. They also are the first SIA women's team to make it to the Northern California State semifinal championship game. This team was balanced and had many players that contributed to their success. We would like to acknowledge the following players for their outstanding accomplishments. Great job, ladies. You make CO proud. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Francesca Schaefer. And I'm Anastasia Fellines. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a windy, windy Wednesday, Wolf Pack. Wolf -pack.